What's going on guys, Ben here at Enus Tech and today we're taking a look at Deepcool's Matrix 55 Add RGB case. The Deepcool Matrix 55 Add RGB has support for EATX motherboards. It has two 4mm thick tempered glass panels, one on the front, one on the side, and it has their Add RGB sync, which easily allows you to connect ASUS Gigabyte MSI and ASRock RGB features directly to the case and control it with the RGB button on the top. Now this is quite good as it means you won't need uh, numerous different softwares to go ahead and get the most from your RGB setup. In terms of cooling, the Matrix 55 is optimized for airflow, but it has plenty of water cooling support. On the front of the case, you could fit a 360 millimeter rad, and towards the top, you could fit a 240 or 280. Now, you could also fit a number of numerous different fans in here, uh, and there is plenty of room to mount a pump and reservoir should you need to. There is a PSU shroud added towards the bottom of the case, which offers an easy way to hide some of your cables, and it also gives you a little window that you can either customize and add an RGB um, light block to, or you can show off your PSU behind it. There are plenty of cutouts on the motherboard tray, so you could go ahead and pass cables through with ease, no matter what size motherboard you are using. And as you can see here, it offers great aesthetics especially when combined with other deep cool products such as the Captain 240 Pro and the MF120S fans. Now the Add RGB comes in as it allows you to connect other manufacturers primarily motherboard and GPU manufacturers RGB features to this case seamlessly there's a couple connectors and wires that you get with it that will allow you to hook it up and so you can connect it to the RGB button so it will sync everything across with the deep cool stuff and you can go ahead and have a nice looking case. Now that is good because for one it means we don't have to have software, you can connect everything through the button. Now this is not to say that you cannot use your motherboard's um, RGB cable and go ahead and control it all through software or whatever IQ or whatever you prefer but it's nice to have it integrated into the case so easily so that all the things can hopefully be connected and be controlled with the push of a button instead of needing three four different pieces of software depending on what type of components you're putting in your case. Now the Matrix 55 comes in both black and white and as you can see today we are taking a look at the white version. I went for the white version because I really wanted to see how all the RGB would look inside of the white case because Deepcool have also sent in their Captain 240 Pro all-in-one CPU cooler and as you may be able to see they sent in the MF120S fans. These fans are brilliant and they go so well with this case because they've got the lines coming down for the RGB similar to the way the case does. Now if we had a RGB ring or a square or anything else, I don't think it would quite look as well as it does like this because they coincide with each other, the colors run down together and it really just looks amazing and allows the front of your case to look I mean, like I said, amazing, and you just want to show it off. It's one of those cases where you're not afraid of people to see the front of the case as well as the side. Now, speaking on the side of the case, we've got our second 4 millimeter thick tempered glass panel. As you can see, it allows great access and viewing area to all the components inside, um, and it will really help allow you to show off your build. Now, the RGB and everything looks great. As I said, you can see the pump top from the Captain 240 Pro. Uh, we've got the radiator and RGB fans up there, which are, of course, hard to see in this video. And on the back, we've got our third MF120S fan from the folks over at Deepcool. Now, when I was building in here, um, everything was quite nice and easy. Everything, there's more than enough space for your standard build. The only little issue I had, which isn't an issue, it's just more of a personal thing, was... PSU shroud and in particular 
the place for the PCI Express graphics card power cable. Now, nine times out of ten, when you build a computer like this, your graphics card is going to be up towards the front here, and your power connector is going to be towards the tempered glass side panel. It would have been nice to have seen an extra cutout here, similar into that location, um, on the PSU shroud for just primarily the PCI cable. This would declutter the cutouts and stuff by the motherboard and it would also mean that you don't have to have extra cable just standing there running across the top of the power supply shroud. You could have had a straight up either way left or right a little bit, plugged it in and been done with it and it would have been brilliant. But either way, this case still does look amazing. And as you can see, um, it really allows you to show your build off. Touching on the power supply again for a quick second. As you can see, well, the power supply shroud, pardon me. As you can see, there is a cutout here. So you can go ahead and show off your power supply. Um, you see the logo in it. Some power supplies are now coming with RGB. Or you may even fancy a little mod and put an RGB box there to kind of light things up a little bit. That would be brilliant as well. Uh, towards the front of the power supply shroud, there's an extra cutout here towards the front of the case so you can stick some fans or a radiator in there to allow for a bit of additional cooling and whatnot. So um, if you wanted to have your fans on the front side of the case, you could stick a radiator in there and get a 360 mil rad in there so you can go um, either with an AIO, custom water cooling loop or what have you. Um, as for the drive mounts, as you will see, well, you won't see because I've hit them on the back. There are some extra mounts coming down the front panel here towards the front of the case. Um, you could also use that to mount a reservoir or something else, depending on what your individual needs were. Um, one thing I have noticed, which is a bit funny, is on the case itself, the metal part of the chassis, there is a place um, an easy remove thing like you see on the back PCI things for a DVD drive. Now of course as we saw on the front there's no room for a DVD drive because who uses optical drives these days anyways? Not most of us. Everything's digital um, and we like to keep it that way. But as I said the rest of it is plenty enough room for everything in here. Um, it's a great case. Good build quality. It looks amazing and there's not much more else you could say about it. It just works. The white, I think, looks very good in this case with the added RGB. Um, it goes very well together. And, um, yeah, kudos to Deep Cool for sending this in. We hope you've liked this video. As always, please like and subscribe. And stay tuned in the future for more content.